In this video, you are going to learn how to access remote devices with FlexiHub via the Direct Channel and Tunnel server. The Direct Channel provides the highest data transfer speed when connecting to devices over a network. It's used when both of your computers are in the same local network or at least one of them has a public IP address. If computers are connected to the internet through a router or NAT and neither has a public IP address, FlexiHub relies on a dedicated tunnel server. Let's first look at how a direct connection works. Say you need to share a USB flash drive between two of your home PCs. You start FlexiHub on the one with the device physically attached and log in to your FlexiHub account. All the devices plugged into the PC's USB and COM ports become shared over the internet. Now, you start FlexiHub on your other PC. Log into the same FlexiHub account and find the USB flash drive among the devices available for remote connection. The green icon next to the PC's name indicates that the computer is able to communicate via the direct channel. You click Connect. The connection to the remote flash drive is successfully created. No symbol in the device status string indicates the direct channel connection. The flash drive appears in the system. You can check the data transfer speed by copying a file from the remote device. The speed is more than 40 Mbps. Great performance! Next, we'll consider a situation when two PCs communicate via a tunnel server. Let's assume you need to access the storage device shared on your home PC from your office computer. You start FlexiHub on the office machine and log in to your FlexiHub account. The yellow indicator next to the home PC's name means a direct connection is impossible. You click Connect. The device successfully connects to the office computer. You can see the letter R in the device status string. It informs that device data will travel via an intermediate node, the tunnel server, waiting for the device to appear in the system. Once it does, it's possible to test the data transfer speed. As you can see, it's about 700 kbps, which is not as high as the one with the direct connection. In terms of speed, the direct connection is always the fastest. The tunnel server is markedly slower, but comes to the rescue when the direct connection is not an option. For instance, when both computers are behind NAT. Unlike the direct channel, the tunnel server channel doesn't depend on the network configuration and doesn't require any of the computers to have a public IP address. If you liked this video and want to learn about other FlexiHub features, check out our YouTube channel for quick, useful guides.